In this video, I'm going to get you started creating your own WordPress site. And we're going to do this a little more challenging than the, way, than the way people normally do, because we're not going to go to WordPress and create our site there. We're going to actually install it on our server. So first you're going to have to log in to the server with the information that I gave you last time. Once you're logged in, you should see your cPanel. And we are with InMotion Hosting, and I like them. They have a neat application called Soft Delicious that will let us install all sorts of software. And so if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see your top applications. Before we do that, though, I want to get a directory going so that we can create our own subdirectory for our WordPress site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into subdomains and I'm going to create one. And I'm just going to call my subdomain WordPress and it's at or dot mcc mary dot dot net. I don't need to put anything else into the root. I'm just going to let it create it. And you're going to need to do that. Now it takes about 24 hours to, for that to populate across the internet for you to be able to get to it and do cha make changes to it. So you're going to want to start this assignment a little in advance because you may or may not be able to log in right away because it takes a little while for the subdomain to work. Now we're going to be able to install WordPress and you're going to notice that it's public H underscore HTML WordPress. We're not doing a redirection. And I'm going to go back to my home button and then I'm going to scroll back down to my top applications and oddly enough the first three are all content management systems. WordPress is somewhere between a content management system and a blogging site. It was originally created to be a blogging site but it's gotten more powerful and is becoming a full-fledged content management system. And many of today's new websites are being created using WordPress because it takes very little knowledge of HTML, very little customization to be able to create it. And you can get some really nice WordPress themes going very quickly. Joomla is another very powerful, very popular content management system and it tends to be preferred by designers because it's got some really fantastic design capabilities. Then your third most popular content management system, and this is actually my favorite, it's the one that I use the most and know really well, is Drupal. And the reason that I know Drupal well is because it is typically the site that is preferred by developers. And I am a fan. I like it. And my MaryHelp.net is created in Drupal. To be able to create a WordPress account, it's very simple in here. You're going to click on WordPress and it tells you a little bit about it. It tells you that WordPress is a state-of-the-art publishing platform with a focus on aesthetics, web standards, and usability. WordPress is both free and priceless at the same time. More simply, WordPress is what you use when you want to work with your blogging software, not fight it. WordPress started in 2003 with a single bit of code to enhance typography of everyday writing and with fewer users than you can count on your fingers and toes. Since then, it has grown to be the largest self-hosted blogging tool in the world, used on hundreds of thousands of sites and seen by tens of millions of people every day. It's very, very easy to use, and it really lets you customize, and it's very powerful. I'm really fond of this software. So you can see we have infinite space. We don't really. I mean, we could fill a server, but you're not going to run out. And we have options. We have the overview. We have the features, which I will let you read through on your own. And then you can import an existing one. But what we're going to do is we're going to click install. And we're going to use HTTP in directory. My directory is, oh, this one is, we don't want in the directory, we're doing a subdomain. So we want wordpress.mary.mccdgm.net. And the difference here between the domain and the directory is that the domain appears on a dot before your name. If we were to do it in a directory, it would be mary.mccdgm.net forward slash WordPress. So the directory comes after the dot net. The domain, the subdomain, comes before it. That's the difference between a domain and a directory as far as here, database name WordPress 299 is fine. Table for prefix because it's going to create a database. WP for WordPress, that's fine. And we're just going to call this Mary's WordPress 
sandbox. And I call it sandbox because it means it's my playground. I'm not doing anything really serious here. Um, I'm just going to test it out. I'm going to learn a bit about WordPress it's the same way you are and just play with it. I'm not really going to be using it for anything sincere at this point. We don't need the multi-site option for our WordPress blog. So we're just going to put in our description where I learn to use WordPress. And that's the description for my site. So I'm going to scroll down and see what other options I have here. Admin account. Well, I'm going to put in my admin username as Mary. My password. I'll come back and change that when nobody's watching. And my admin email is just going to be Mary at mccdgm.net. Actually, now I'm going to use one I'll actually check. Mary Winchester at gmail.com. Let's have this in English. Um, I'm not going to limit my login attempts. And I'm going to go ahead and hit install. I want to email installation details to Mary Winchester at gmail.com. And I do recommend that you email yourself. And I recommend that you don't use a password of password. It doesn't like that password. So we will call it my password. And it thinks that's good. Okay. And I will change that when nobody's watching. And I'm writing it down so I don't forget. Okay, so that was it. It's installed. And I should be able to go here to my administration panel. I should be able to log in with my password. And I'm going to tell it to remember me. That's it. I'm installed. Now we can get into customizing our site. That will be in the next video.